What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about one of the simple features in Instant Football 06, and that is the Create a Player feature. Now, this feature is in pretty much every game you could think of, and particularly for the Instant Play Football games, there's really not a whole lot of difference between them. I'm not a big Create a Player guy, so I don't know. There may be some subtle differences between like 06 and 2002, or from 06 to 11. But for the purpose of this, you can use 06 as a base to get a rough idea of what to expect. So let's just get right into it. You're at the main screen. You go to Game Features, and you go to Create a Player. Now, I just want to go through every single facet of this, and that way you can use it as a reference and see some of the options that you have. So let's just go ahead and create myself. Now, what we're going to do is let's go and just put in my name. You can just maybe help if I put in the right one. Let's go. The full name. Go Al Sexton. Go here. Now, if you want to, for those of you who are hardcore roster guys, you can plug up a keyboard into a PlayStation 2 as long as it's a USB input, and you can type all this stuff out if needed. Just something to think about. All right, first name, last name, home state. You just pick the state that you want to select. I'm from Tennessee. We'll just go with that. Hometown, this is interesting. You can't literally type in any of them. But you have a bunch of selection here. Like for Tennessee, all these are real cities from the state of Tennessee. Now, I could just pick a city that's kind of close to me. We can go ahead and pick like PAL, for example. Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken, the roster is full here. So we can go with like Tennessee State. I'm pretty sure there's openings there. Let's just create a quarterback while we're at it. So we'll go quarterback. Let's pick, uh, let's go a halfback instead. I just want to give you some of the different options here. We'll go with the number 40. You can only pick a number that is available for that particular team. So it's really depending on this right here. Year, this is very important for the, those who are really picky about making sure their rosters are very accurate. And if for whatever reason a current player in the game is off by like a year or something, you could you know just replace him and put somebody else in. At least I think you can. But anyway, you can go from freshman to senior. And you can redshirt any of them. We can start myself as a, red, as a true freshman. I'm a lefty, so we'll go with that. You go lefty or righty. And, of course, throughout the entire time, you can rotate them around and such, which is pretty cool. Next up, it's just his, you know, his physicality, you know, his height, weight, and such. Thankfully, with this game and all the other games in the PS, PS2 era, height and weight matter. PS3 games, they really don't, which is sad. But here, definitely it matters. So if like I'm a halfback, I can leave myself at 6'2". But I wanted to show you how small you can go. You can go from 5'5 up to 7 feet tall. And what's funny is the last time I created a player, one that I remember, was I created the smallest guy that I could. I made him 5'5". I think it's 160, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the biggest you can have is 415 or the smallest is 160. I made him 5'5", 160 and bumped his ratings all the way up to 99 across the board. And I couldn't do hardly anything with him because of his height and weight. He was just too small. So that's just something to think about. So I'm going to put myself in my normal high. I'll go 510. And we can go back to 220. Skin, I think you got either light, medium, or dark. I'll go light. Hair color, you can go black, brown, light brown, blonde, or redhead. And you can go gray. Hairstyle, I'm going to leave it at gray just so you kind of see the different options. Oh, let's do red. That may pop out a little bit better. You can go close crop. You can do an afro. You can do a flat top. I used to rock a flat top back in the day when I was younger. Cornrows. You can rock a mullet. I always like a rock a mullet when I am coaching. You can go dreadlocks. You can go bald or you can go bald number two. What's funny is when you go and you got multiple options for a particular type, if you look at the ears, that's the only thing that really changes. Here's bald one, bald two. Notice that the changes at the ears. The head shape changes a little bit as well. You got balding, balding two. You got a fade, and you got a fade two. Again, just the ears change a little bit. You got a buzz cut, buzz cut two, and you're back to close crop. I'm a buzz cut guy, so we'll go with that. We'll go blonde. Face shape, you just have to pay attention to the complexion of the face itself. So I think there are 16 options. There's one. Just look through some of these. I wish you can zoom in a little bit more, but you can't. Just kind of pick whatever you want there. You can rock a goatee if you wanted. Some of it's facial hair differences. Others, like I said, the complexion. 
of the face itself. The smile's a little different. 16, we can just go, yeah, there's total 16. Same with face shape. You have 16 choices. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. A lot of it just has to do with the closeness of the eyes, the protrusion of the cheekbones, the size of the jaw, and so on and so forth. But there's enough options there to get fairly close to however you want it. Like I can go with, it doesn't really matter at this point, 16, we'll just go with 16, that's fine. Body size, you can tell a little bit if you go to the side here. You can bump it all the way up, He just a little bit thicker, or you can get him pretty skinny. We can go make this guy humongous, we can go all the way up to 99%. Same with the muscles, you can look at the arms, they get a little bit smaller or they can get really big. And you could go to continue. Then you could look at the appearance in terms of the accessories of the player. So when you go, you got a helmet, you got four types of helmets, maybe five. You got normal, Adam, Scut, Revolution. If you go normal, between normal, Adams, and Scut, they all have the same options at face mask. So if you go between normal, and you go to Adams, you see there the holes are in different spots on the helmet. You may have different, like there's Revolutions, got the really cool grooves on the back there. But when it comes to face masks, you got a bunch of options. Half cage, full cage one and two, thin bar with a, or you got a two bar thin. You can go old school and go one bar. You got some that's specifically for quarterbacks and running backs. And nothing changes with that between, again, Adams and Scott. Revolution's a little bit different on the face mask. It's got three different ones. We can just rock this one for now. Face protector. If you pay attention to the neck, this is like under armor for your head and such. If you go none, you go to cold only. So when it gets really cold, you may be able to put that on. I've never paid attention to see if any of those players wore those. I'm guessing some of them do. It's interesting to go with a blue look. I think it goes with like a lighter shade of the team color. I could be dead wrong there. I'm not really sure. Visor, you got a few options. You go none, you can go clear, dark, and orange. We'll just go none for now. Eye paint, you can put some eye paint on. That's all there is to it. You just got the one option. Same with the nasal strip, just one option. Same with mouthpiece, just an option there. Neck pad, this is where you want to get old school and have that real mean look to you, like some of those old linebackers from back in the day. You can rock a basic neck roll, or you can get really big with an extended one. That reminds me of a lot of Al Wilson back in the day when he played at Tennessee. He looked fierce with that thing on. QB jacket, if you pay attention to the torso itself, how it changes a little bit. QB jacket just makes a little more filled out. We'll go none since I'm a halfback. When it comes to elbows wrist, hands, and such. You got different colors. You got white, black, and team color, depending on the type of accessory. So you go to right elbow, you got a rubber pad, then it goes right into a basic elbow pad. You got a black, white, and a team color, which is pretty cool. It's got a little blue stripe, a little orange edge on it. You can also go white team colored as well. Then you got medium bands. Those are the main colors. Then you go with a thin band. And back to normal. Like, I can rock a big old black pad. We can do a black pad for both elbows. Turf tape, this is interesting. If you ever play on turf, if you have this put on, on at, like, turf only, I think he literally changes it up to this whenever he plays on a turf field, which is pretty cool. We'll put that back at none. Long sleeves. We'll go down here. You can rock long sleeves. Always or cold only. You know, like, always. You can look at the team color. You can do black or you can do white which is pretty cool. We'll go back to none on that one. Right wrist, again, it's really no different than the elbow. You got a QB wrist, white, black, and the team color. You can do a basic black wrist, white, or team color. You can rock a big old arm pad if you want to knock somebody's head off with that thing. You got a half sleeve. Those are fairly popular, or at least they were back in the day. Black, white, team color. And you could do taped. Like, I could do tape for both. Then you could go and add... Finger tape, or you can do gloves. Like, we could do gloves for both. Right ankle, again, it's really no different. You can do white, black tape, or team color. We can do team color tape for both. 
then you can go to continue. And now all that's left is the ratings. Now you notice at the top there, you got tendency and overall rating. And as you adjust these ratings, those change. So you look at the overall rating, I could put myself at 99 speed and it goes up. Not a whole lot. That shows you like, you can really test out the ratings for each position and see what really matters. As you noticed, speed didn't go up only like four points and I went up to 99 speed. But if you change a few other things like strength, it goes up up to eight points probably max. Awareness, that should help some as well. Agility, that's important for a halfback. Acceleration's important as well. Catching, not as important, but it just depends on if you want to catch or not. Carry, this should be pretty important. Yeah, that goes up quite a bit. Jumping, I can bump this up to 99. And as you can see, it means nothing to the overall rating of a halfback. Break tackle, that's big time. You notice this thing goes up really quick. Break tackle is huge. That should be related to, I'm pretty sure, the squat rating when you uh, recruit players. Tackle, this should not change whatsoever because this is a defensive rating. Throw power and throw accuracy, that's pure quarterback stuff there. Pass blocking, this should change some, and it does because halfbacks do have to block at times. Then you got run blocking. Not a whole lot there. It's not going to change one bit because most running backs don't actually have to run block. That's usually reserved for fullbacks, tight ends, linemen, and such. Some probably receivers probably get a little bump in that as well. Kick power and kick action, that's only for kickers. Stamina, I could bump this up to 99. It's not going to change anything, but it's still very important because you want those guys to be out there as much as they can. Normally, guys who touch the ball a lot get gassed pretty easily, and halfback is definitely one of them. Injuries, the same thing. I could bump the, the 99. It's not going to change anything on the overall rating, but it's still very important. The higher this goes up, the bigger chance of you not getting injured. And that is it for create a player. Now, we can go ahead and create and save this. And while we're saving this, we're going to go up to the rosters, and I'll show you a couple things you can do there. So you go up to, we're playing for TNC State. We'll go with a double-A roster. Then we'll go up to view edit rosters. Let's go to TNC State. You go to TNC State, go to halfbacks, and there I am. I'm a 91 overall. You can select and you can change all that stuff from before. Now, what's interesting is I cannot change some of this stuff. But since I'm a created player, I can go back and change it later on. I'm pretty sure I can. What I wanted to show you, though, more importantly, was if you need to delete a player, you can, but you can only delete created players. And here they are. The guy who created these FCS rosters, apparently he only had to add a couple of guys. But here I am. If I want to delete myself, I can go ahead and delete myself, and there I go. Well, that's all I wanted to show you with that. There's not a whole lot to it, but I figured that may be a nice little reference tool if you ever need to go back and look and see some of the options you have with create a player. Now, what I can do going forward, I may want to do a create a sign video. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. I'm thinking of some other things I can, you know, maybe add. I may want to add some of these instantly tutorial videos. That'd be pretty cool to add to the channel. So there's a lot of good options for the smaller stuff I may want to add to the channel because if those of you who are unaware, please subscribe and click the bell icon. That way you don't miss anything, especially in the community tab. I talked about this this morning. I was asking around on some ideas for some videos. I want to add some smaller ones to complement the longer videos. And I think little stuff like this, such as a create a sign video, create a player and such, will do wonders. I've already done a creative school. Make sure you go check that out as well. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.